it is. Right. This is a bit of a disclaimer about this video. Um, you'll see on the front of it that it's classified as a paid promotion. What that means is that we've been given this ba Bailey Adamo on loan for two weeks uh, to use as we see fit. We will be, we'll be paying the diesel and the campsite fees and any other expenses that occur. We're not being paid by Bailey in any other way but because we've got use of the Bailey for two weeks, uh, gratis as it were, uh, that, classi that classifies as a paid promotion. So I thought I'd better add that, and like I say, we'll do our best to give you an honest appraisal of this motorhome, uh, the things we like about it, the things we don't like about it, and we'll show you what went wrong. And what went right. First impressions. An umbrella. Alright, so where are we and what are we doing? We, we are in the, uh, the new Bailey Adamo. And, uh, yeah. my first experience at driving an automatic motor. Yes. And it's a, a little bit weird. Yeah. You keep looking for a clutch and... Well, yeah, I mean, it, it changing gear more than I expected. I'm, I'm only doing 30. And it's changing down quite frequently. So, I mean, first impressions, it's, it's very easy to drive. It's a tiny little steering wheel. I haven't got the, the armrest right, right yet, but I'll sort that out in a minute. And uh, I spent a little while trying to get used to all the controls. Yeah. And it's absolutely it's teeming it's down here, here, isn't it? Isn't it? Pouring down on us. Yeah. So where are we going then? We're, we're just going to go to Southport uh, to start with. Um, Southport Caravan Motor Club site which is only down the road and uh, really just want to get used to where everything is and how everything works and we've, we've done reasonably well this uh, started about 12 o'clock packing it and it's now so where's the clock it's about half two half two yeah and we would normally go to southport often ourselves in case we've forgotten anything so i don't think we have have we because we're pretty pretty round but we'll show you more when we get to the site yeah we're not going to do an arriving at here at Southport I really want to arrived. Sort of show you around the van really yeah I'll have to clip the curb coming around there Doing that. I don't know. <coughs> <coughs> Come down again. <laughs> I think we'll go left. It'll be okay. a bit quieter up there. Yeah, it takes me a while to actually get this moving. <laughs> I could figure out the handbrake. Playing a little tune. Uh, yeah, that, that handbrake's one of these pull up to release. Uh, things and uh, I think that takes a bit of getting used to. It's got a stop start on the engine and uh, yeah it's been interesting so far. It's quite daunting driving a new motorhome with stop start and automatic when you've never driven stop start or an automatic. Yeah and it's a different it's a different layout and I can't see the peg there. Explain all in a minute. Right. 
Well, here we are. First pitch. Yeah, definitely autumn, isn't it? Right, so this has got a whale connector type thing. And it's got a really curled up hose. Right. Okay. Right. So, here we go then. So I think what you do is you put it in like that and you close the lid on it. Right. And that sort of locks it in place. And I've got this mess to untangle now. Lovely. That's the first thing I'd buy for this van. <laughs> it's a reel for this. This is going to be a nightmare. Right. the hose lock. And what's going on here? That's broken, isn't it? What's going on there? I don't understand that. Huh. Someone's put that on. I don't know why they needed to put that on. They're trying to confuse me. Not difficult at the moment. should do it. Now the other thing about emptying the water is the water emptying point is right in the middle. Well no it's got quite in the middle. It's about there underneath the van. So if you're going to use this one it'd have to be quite a way back over there wouldn't you? Yeah yeah. So I'll need your battery voltage low at the moment. Yeah so. Down. Yeah. Oh you've got to press enter it's a oh, like right. a warning thing I think. And you press enter or press down. It says full tank 100%. 100%. So there you go. So foot on the brake. See you that? can see that. No, it's very dark down there. Dark, dark there, isn't it? Foot on the brake. Turn the key. Start it. And then still foot on the brake. Drive. Park brake applied. There's a little so, tune. So you have to pull that up to feel some resistance and then you let it go. Right. And then you let your foot off the brake and off you go. It's all as if by magic. You've got the barrier key, haven't you? Yes. I think it opens automatically here, doesn't it, on the way out. God, look at the water. Oh, it does, doesn't it? Well, we need it to get back in. Yeah. So those people who drive automatics all the time get, you know, do that automatically, don't they? Yeah. So to speak. <laughs> Just notice the uh, stubby aerial thing. I don't know. They won't try the radio or anything. Yet, no. no, don't try that. You notice I've got we've got Mrs. Satnag with us, yeah. With us. We've got close enough in. Because we haven't got a built-in sat nav in this. No. We miss her anyway, won't we? But we have, what we have got is a rear view camera. Can you see that? Which is a little bit hard to see, to be perfectly honest, where they've mounted it. It's in, in a, like a well, so I get sort of this sort of view of it. I suppose it's okay, but I'd have preferred it up on the dashboard. I haven't quite figured out what's going on with the, um, the 12 volts in the cab because I, have, I now have to switch this on. Because she comes on automatically, doesn't she? Yeah, normally? but what I've noticed is that the 12 volts in the cab seems to be on like a, 
courtesy thing so it stays on for a while. Yeah. And uh, you, th you think, is it going to switch off? So I, I really need to have a read of the manual. You do, yeah. There are, it's a big uh, bag with them all in. Oh, good. Some nighttime reading. Yep. And I think there's now uh, this. Oh, is that? Oh, it just goes in there. Right. That's how that works. Alright, okay. Find a normally a latch, isn't there? Can't see it at all. Have oh, you got to do it twice or something? It's got one two on it. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Like another Oh you've got to yeah. actually hold it. Yeah. Right, okay. I suppose that's a bit more security. Have a look. Uh, windscreen washer fluid there, and guess that. Oil filler, brake, dipstick. Now the video I saw said that this here is the jump start point. So you put the, your positive on there, and your negative goes down there on that, that hook. That's your radiator fluid, I guess. Other than that, I've no idea what goes on under here. Now, we had a few additions from Prima Leisure added to the motorhome, and one of them is headlamp protectors. So that's quite a good oh, idea. They're good, aren't they? Yeah. Um, so it gives you a bit of protection. And the mirror armour door, uh, door mirror protectors. So it's got alloy wheels, locking wheel nuts. And that's the driver's cab. Still got to figure out what all that does. It's still got the 12 volt supply to the sat nav on. So I don't know why that should be, whether that switches off after a while. Really big door pockets. You've got your window winders. Oh, it's a, that's the lock, isn't it? And the window winders. It's a nice big clear window, and the door mirrors are good. I'll show you. I'll show you the cab a little bit later. I'll go in there, and it's on two, three, five, sixty-five R sixteens. Yeah, you see the courtesy lights are still on. Yeah. I think that's when you open the door. Yeah. Anyway, there's your Truma uh, vent. Nice big windows, as Poppy's demonstrating there. LPG. Right, so two gas bottles. It actually came with one, we've just added our own gas bottle just in case. It's not, I don't think it's, it's not got the travel safe system, not got the Kruma CS system. So you should really switch the gas off when you're traveling. Alloys. Now this is the waste. Oh down on my hands and knees here. So that there is a waste drain. I'm going to pull it, but you pull on this handle and that pipe along there empties the water. So you've got to sort of manoeuvre over the grate or somehow get a pipe under there. So it's quite a way under. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah. This is the garage, or one of the garage doors. So I'm only just about figuring out how to get these open, but what you do is you put the key in and you turn it that way, anti-clockwise. And that opens. And it's got a catch on there. We've got 
Oh, for... reasonable amount of stuff <laughs> in there. There's not that much, is there? No. I mean, no. still room for our aqua roll and and other stuff. Obviously, if this was our van, it would uh, be a bit better organised. Stop. That's it. It's on the catch now. So in there, you've got your ladder. There's these plank things, and therefore putting round the bed when it's in its high position, which you probably won't be doing. There's a catch here. They have to re remember to release to allow you to to shut it. And then you turn these round and then lock them. So I notice it's a standard um, bulb lights on the back. Now they are bulbs rather than LEDs on the back lights. And it's a single view wide angle rear view camera up there. It's missing end caps that might there that seem to have gone missing. So around the other side, you might notice that this garage door is sticks in quite a way. So let's undo it. It's actually quite hard to open. And what's gone missing is that there should be like a weather seal all the way around this door. All the way around there, and that's gone missing. Is there one on the other then? Yeah. Yeah. If you look at through at the other door, it's got like a rubber seal where, oh, yeah. where the doors doors connect. You so, point out what's in there. Oh yeah, I've managed to spill a bit of water from the hose there. Uh, yeah, so you've got 12 volt and a 240 volt socket in there. You've also got a light in here as well, which is really handy. I mean, if you put shelves or something in there, you know, you you could get this really organised. I mean, I'm going to, I've just thrown everything in here. Yeah. But those are the infill cushions for making up the downstairs bed. Right. So you're really looking forward to using that, aren't you? Yeah, another yeah. challenge like that. No, we know exactly what to do, don't we, this time? <laughs> yeah, if you look, it, it goes in too far. And that's just a standard toilet cassette. Standard Thetford toilet cassette. Just on its own in a box. There's no um, fill thing, is there? You know. No. No. There's no flush tank. With flush this. tank. That's that's what I mean. Yeah, it is. It's 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 actually flushed from the fresh water tank. That's the whale. And that's what we've just used just earlier. used. Yeah, the whale connection. got one vent, two vents. Now uh, someone pointed out the other day that this is an inlet ve vent and that's an outlet vent. Right. You can see it's a fairly big fridge. And there's the door. You've got a uh, light above the awning. You might just be able to spot there's an aerial on there and a solar panel. I think it's an 80 watt solar 80 panel. 80 watt, yeah. And your electricity plug-in is there. Again, okay, it <laughs> comes without a, a, a reel, so I would definitely add a reel. <laughs> I was in a right pickle, that was. Here's the fuel filler. I had a feeling. Yeah, that's right. Because uh, we saw of... We saw this and... Yeah. You have to open the door to fill it with diesel. I think it's like a locking mechanism. And below that, is the add blue, so add blue and the diesel. Also, we've got the um, extra oh, yeah. floor mats, haven't we? Yeah, they've kindly provided a part of the cab kit, the extra mats there. And Bailey have added a bear. That's the Bailey bear, hashtag the Bailey bear. Yeah, as you can see, you can't open the filler cap so no. without opening the door. Opening the door. I suppose that's quite handy, isn't it, really? I suppose so, but a bit unusual, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <Hello>, Poppy. <laughs>
<laughs> Bobby can't get on the back of the sofa. <laughs> no. So let's have a look inside. Can we come in? Girls, can we come in? Come on then. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, so I mean the first impression <coughs> Hey 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 come on we're showing people round Poppy. Poppy Come on I'm just come gonna on. show people round now Quiet Quiet You wanna sit down? Yeah Yeah There we go oh. Yeah so first impressions we've got of this this, this area Poppy please oh. is it's very spacious isn't it? It is. Yeah. It's a very, very great feeling in a space, and yeah. this is nice. It's a, it's a nice is... big area. I mean, we've got, yeah. we've got the beds here. I mean, normally they would. They would sit. go on there. <laughs> lose the cab seats. But you've got a nice big sofa here. This is Poppy's meerkat, her favourite toy. I think it's you, a bit battered, I think you need it? a new one. <laughs> <laughs> and just looking back. The kitchen on this model, I think, is bigger than the, the other two models, isn't it? Yeah, because so you you've do got four get nice, cupboards at the top. Nice big space here. Yeah. And you get four cupboards above here. And we've got the drop-down bed, which is above the lounge. Yep. Can we we'll show you how it works? <coughs> yeah? Okay then. But <coughs> Tara, I really don't think you should be on the table. <laughs> the first thing you have to do is to get the table in position. So there's a catch under here and then you can just move the table out a little bit. And over on the control panel here, can I show you? Over on the control panel there's a button there. So you press that. Tara. Mind yourself, T. And just get that out of the way. So that's Tara's size now. Yeah. And then and the bed controls are over the door here. And you just press the bottom one there. Do you have to move those cushions? No. No, 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 those scatter cushions. No. No, we don't, OK. Right. Well, no, not really. I probably have to move this. Yeah. Get that out. I haven't found anywhere to put this yet. So, oh. Oh. keep your finger on the button. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I know. So I've got to be careful there. So you don't want to trap that. Let's figure out. I might put that in the um, in the garage. Plugged in on the plug Plugged in, in there. On the plug. yeah. 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 So meanwhile, I think that's about it. Is there something else under there? There's some cushions. I kept saying, do we need to move those cushions? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So we probably need to move those cushions out of the way. But that's sort of reasonable level anyway isn't it at the moment so do you want it on its full extent well, <laughs> still seems a bit I high think, i think that'll be a yes oh, excuse me poppy the kitchen roll yeah That's it. That's it, and that's at a reasonable height now to get in, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. All right, and we've got our duvets on there. It is a very, well, quite a wide bed. Yeah. 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 So, so that's that. Let me put the bed up. Oh, the other thing is, the great thing about this is I've just left the uh, the pillars in place. And the yeah. bedding. Yeah, we couldn't do that before, could we? We had a drop down bed. Let's 
It's obviously got like, motors in there somewhere Probably behind these panels. I think it flashes when it's, it's yeah, it flashes when it's done. That's right. it. Well, we managed to get it down and get it out, so we've been part this. Get it up and get it down. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, there's still a fair bit of headroom for me, so that's good. And I better put these cushions back now, Pops. So, just this? Yeah. You have to keep going with it. How far how are you going to go? That's quite good, much. <laughs> That's how much out mire it goes, but... Yeah, just kept going, didn't it, Pops? Yeah. It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> After a little bit of fiddling about, I've drawn the curtains here, so... I mean, they're okay, but... Uh, they're joined together with a bit of Velcro there. And they've got some press studs there, which... Uh, replace the curtain, um, what do you call the curtain ties? Yeah. Top and bottom there, velcroed all the way down. But if you've got the, the seats swivelled, they're sticking out a bit, I suppose it's a bit, well, it's better if the seats are not swivelled. I prefer a set of blinds, if I'm perfectly honest. I think Poppy's a bit upset she can't get to her chair now. Yeah, so it's a good job I brought a cab blind isn't it Pops? Now we've got the heating on and it is really warm in here now. We've got vents at the front here and you can feel how warm it is and that's good. Warmed up very quickly isn't yeah. it? Yeah Poppy's happy she's got yeah. a chair now. <laughs> the curtain doesn't work for you does it? <laughs> no. Now, the other thing that we've been provided is a sink bowl. Uh, Premier Leisure provided a sink bowl as part of the, the extra pack. I have to say, this doesn't fit. It's too tall for the sink. It doesn't fit when you try and put the um, no. other thing on top, does it? You've got to move it. Yeah, so I think... I think they've provided the bowl that's too big for the sink because the chopping board should fit on there. Yeah, I'm sure ones we've had before, you know, you could put the chopping board on top and then the other on top of that. And that's the right chopping board for the sink, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And it's got a, a drainer as well if you want to drain things. That was under there, I think that's right, so somebody someone, else's so, someone else's chopping, chopping board. board I think so. <laughs> So if you're missing a chopping board, <laughs> it's up there. It's up there, yeah. And that, that's the drainer. Yeah. So that's okay. So that, that you can use with the, oh, yeah. the bowl, can't you? Yeah. It's just that you can't put the chopping board on top of the bowl. No. You've got to move the bowl. Not to move the bowl. So I suppose you can put the bowl like, it's not a big, like big that. thing really, is it? No. So thank you Prima Leisure, that's, that's a, a nice little kitchen kit, just make the bowl a bit smaller. Yeah, not quite as tall. <laughs> <laughs> right, so have a look in the kitchen then, so what about the cupboards? Cupboards are, are nice, They're, they've got shelves in them. Yeah. We managed to fit our mugs and Yeah, so we've in. got everything in there, we've got our mugs, we've got our plates, we've got our tins of baked beans. As always, it, it's um, challenging for some of my height disadvantage. <laughs> <Little> legs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they all like that though. Yeah. Uh, loads of crisps and Yeah. I think stuff. on I think you could have an optional microwave in there. Yes. I know you might you probably might lose most of that cupboard if you yeah. want to do that. Yeah, well, we'll see on this trip whether we miss the microwave. It's a really high up yeah. shelf there. Yeah, only I can reach the pot noodles. Noodles, yeah. <laughs> But I, I do, I've always liked this sort of long kitchen. Yeah. So this big drawer here, you can fit your cutlery in there. Is that our, our cutlery? That's our cutlery, but that's 
butler's provided with it. Yeah. Um, that's all our stuff, um, yeah. bin bags and so that's the like. So that's a good drawer, isn't it? It yeah. is a good drawer, yeah. 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 I've bought myself a new measuring jug. <laughs> <laughs> There's either that Goes up or to four t tablespoons. <laughs> There's either that or a 250 um, litre, milliliter one. So I thought 60, that would be okay. 60 milliliter? Yeah. Right. Cupboard anyway, the bigger one wouldn't have fitted in the drawer. Yeah. Now that's Poppy and Tara's plus that's the drinks. Oh, cupboard. there's drinks in here. Look, like wine. This isn't a cupboard. I think this is where the gas locker is. It, isn't that's it? right. Yeah. 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 And then we've got a cooker. Yeah. I think this is slight. Seems slightly bigger than ours because I thought our um, this dry mat fitted across the whole lot. No, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Does. Oh, no, I think no, it's the same. It's the same then. size thing. But it's nice and clean, it's yeah. not been used. Yeah. You've got an electric plate, you've got three gas. It doesn't look like it's ever been used, does it? We'll have to do something about that. What, use it, you mean? Yeah. 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 It's a Thetford, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, so you've got a grill under there. Yeah. And you've got an oven, and you've got two shelves. Two shelves, I don't know why we've got two shelves. Well, I think I prefer that sometimes because otherwise, if you only got one, you end up put, trying to put things on the bottom. Right, and, okay. Yeah. Anyway, we've got two. Yeah, and there's a drawer below. The drawer below. And that's got that um, a grill pan in that doesn't seem to be used. And a and ridge monkey. Yeah, so we've got a uh, Thetford fridge. Absolutely rammed, <laughs> as usual. Yeah. It's got a couple of little lights above there, hasn't it? What confuses me a bit is yeah. that this panel up there yeah. isn't a light. No. Is it? So no. you have to press that. You have to press that button to find out what's going on. So, so it's automatic on electric. Is that showing it? Because it's right up there for me. Yes. Yeah, so it's automatic on four bars. And it goes off. And it goes, it, well, you don't want that light going all night, do you? I suppose. Be, Was it, do you think it's be, for that? You'd be, yeah, you'd be moaning that the lights are on. <laughs> <laughs> true, true, true. Yeah, quite a nice fridge there. Oh, they're a bit. They're wobbly, not very big. These no, shelves are not they? very wide, are no, they? No, so you can't fit a lot in them. Uh, but you have got this nice bit down at the bottom. Yeah, yeah. So it's very put, solid that. Yeah. And you've got a, a, a freezer, freezer box. Box that are fitted to two loaves, loaves of bread in. in. So that's good. No. Nice, positive clunk. Yep, it clunks. Um, we've put the telly up here. Yeah. And uh, the fire stick. There's the fire stick there. But it's a bit of a tight fit, this telly, because the connections are on the back and it's banging up against this plate. So just have to see how we get on with that. But that is our telly. And obviously the TV points up there. On here you've got the switches for the lights, that's these lounge lights. I'm not sure what that is. That's, oh, that's the lower lights, that's those ones. That's the kitchen lights. That one. And that's the lower lights. We've got everything on at the moment. And I've managed to fit a Malenko uh, Universal doesn't fit everything type screen on the front. So it's blocking, <laughs> blocking out the, uh, the people going past, so peace and quiet from the dogs. <laughs> right, so we've done the kitchen. Yeah. So the washroom has got this slidey thing, which is a little bit stiff. Maybe that will loosen up over, the, over time. And you'd struggle to close this. Open it? No, you struggle to close it. Yeah, open you struggle it. to open it. Can you just hold that? All right. Because it's got this track thing, and I think what was happening is that that there it was catching on the side, the side there. So, yeah. But uh, it opens up into a really nice sort of washroom area, and I think this is really one of the nicest parts of the van, isn't it? The you've got a Really nice square sink. You can get your head right in there. 
Got a big mirror. There's a big cupboard there. Well, yeah. With loads, shelves. Lo with loads of shelves on it, which is good. But all the blinds are a bit stiff, but it's not a frosted glass window, so you're going to end up with that closed most of the time. To be fair, I think you do. I think anyway. you do anyway, don't you? And you've got Thetford toilet, and it's just flushing from the fresh water tank. There's no need for a, an additional flush. You've got a big mirror. I mean, it does. That mirror makes it feel bigger in here because. It, yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. If you leave the door open, obviously. And I think the shower area here is very good. Obviously we'll know tomorrow when we use the shower. It might be the first time it's ever been used. It'd be interesting. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's in there. <laughs> We've put everything in here. <laughs> I don't think there's a light in here. So I'm missing something. I can't feel there's a light in here, but anyway, Ooh, there is a step there. But yeah, that, I mean, it's a fantastic space and it just shows you how much stuff we take with us. A lot of this is camera gear, got some water, t-shirts, toaster, rucksack, tops. In the back of that, we've got a um, power oak unit. Uh, a kettle somewhere, there's a kettle in there, and there's a tassimo there somewhere. Towels, the manuals, which I'll, I'll have to have a look at. That goes way, way back in there. That's above the garage, isn't it? Yeah. And then the th thing at the bottom allows you access to the garage. So, so the great thing about that is that you don't need to go outside to get into the garage. You can climb in here, you can get access to the garage. And we put that crate in there, it's got the ladders, it's got our cleaning stuff, I don't know, a load of junk. Some arrows always take with us, the, the hose, the uh, cushions for the bed and you've got access as well to the fresh water tank there so it's a really good area yeah so I think that's it from you I think so yeah I think these two have woofed themselves out yeah they've calmed down haven't they since no, you put that uh, front on yeah as you could see people going past so that's why we like the blinds because you can quickly close the blinds and uh, but yeah, you can see this Malenko thing, it's no good. I'd get I'd get tailor, a tailor-made screen for that. I suppose you could always put the curtains around the back of the seat somehow. Yeah, yeah I suppose you probably could, yeah. Yeah. No, we'll, we'll experiment anyway. So we're just here for one night, aren't we? Yeah. And then we're off to Bolton Abbey for two nights. Yeah. Which actually is the site we've never done an arriving at. Okay, so we could do an arriving out there. Other sites on, on this tour we've we've been to before. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so we'll do a little arriving out. But impressions, first impressions? It's a nice area to sit in. It feels quite spacious. I'm looking forward to having a meal with, with the table because well, yeah. we don't have to fight to put up a table. Well, no, I don't, table. you don't have to wrestle the table into the, into the back. No, 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 it's here all the time. It's there, yeah. Yeah, and dogs seem to like the sofas. Yeah. So we possibly might be able to sit might in the sit chairs. In the front. <laughs> you never know. Yeah, you never know. <laughs> yeah, so that's it for now. Um, catch up with us uh, on the next video, which will be us going to Bolton Abbey. If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe, hit the notifications icon, and we'll get back to you with another video. See you soon. Bye then. Bye then.